Good day and welcome to another edition of Outside of Genie, where we will be raising today from Fairview, and the date is the 11th of January. Unbelievable that we're already in the second week of January. Just now, we had our New Year's parties and stuff, and here we are already 11 days into the new month. Yeah, the card is from Fairview on the turf today, and really, it's not a diff it's not a very easy card. Lots of uh, eight races where most of them are very competitive. I think it's going to be hard to find winners today, and I do um, caution you play with uh, uh, play with you know play carefully today because um, the chances of making money on this card is not that good. We kick off in the first race, which is a maiden plate for Phillies and Mares over a thousand meters. And the betting is as follows number two, 12, Q Cosas, 15 to 20, Just So Easy, 9 to 2, Else Last, 15 to 2, Isn't It Bliss, 9 to 2, oh, 9 to 1, 12 to 1, Kappa Java, 28 to 1, Good Vibes, Liberian, Liberian 28 to 1, oh, Ola Kachita, 33 to 1, and 33 to 1, and Better the Rest. Well, here in the first race, my first selection is the favorite, number 12. Um, that is the Greve Runner, number 12, Q Cosas. This horse did run on the 1st of January on this course, um, over 1,200 meters, and it finished well. Um, it looked like the horse just battled to find its feet, but once it found its feet, it really ran on well, 23.2, uh, over the fast 400, last 400 finish. But I'm sure that the jockey will be awake about this, and was we'll just try and get the horse get going as this race is over a thousand meters. You can see here in the report, it said still at 150 meters, uh, still at 500 meters, and that's about the time the horse found his feet. Then, um, just wanna, um, this is not one of my other selections, but I do expect number 13 extra special at double view fully to improve, so do include that in the back end of your quartets. My outsider selections as follows is number two. Number two is uh, Isn't It Blitz, um, the cat in the stable. Uh, this horse has been running well on the poly. Um, has had a, one or two runs, had a few runs on the preview for one fourth place, but has been running there and there else. And I do feel, I don't know, I think that this horse will have a problem running on the on the turf and do follow number one, Isn't It uh, Number two, Isn't It Blitz? Don't leave out of your calculations. My other outside selection is number three, Al's Last. This horse comes from Kenilworth. Um, I think this horse's best performance was the day that he ran under six lanes behind Cap Capitina, but I'm sure and, and in this field, again, slightly less, very well beat the Captain Al Araba Ford with me that this horse can then definitely be in the shake-up. Another horse that you can't be out of all your play is number one, Just So Easy. Gavin Smith Stable has been running places on the poly. Has had two runs on the on the turf, uh, which was there and thereabouts, but I'm sure those horse is maturing and can also be involved in the finish. Um, then we move on to the next race, the second race, and the second race has also all to come maiden plate over 1200 meters. Let's have a look at the betting here. The betting is as follows. Number nine, full score, 19 to 10, Captain Calico, 5 to 1, 5 to 1, Sputnik 1, 7 to 1, Amazing Tune, Kingsford, 17 to 2, Toretta, 14 to 1, Stally, 16 to 1, Step It Up, Baby, 16 to 1, 20 to 1, and longer the rest. So here again, in the first, first race, I'm going with the um, favorite again, which is number nine, full score from the... Um, And on Kiev stable, this horse has had two runs um, on the poly, uh, but I'm sure looking at a breeding, um, Duke of Marmalade by uh, I Chapel and me won't have a problem on the turf. And I'm expecting this horse to improve. That ran a, a, a decent first race behind winter vacation, but last time out wasn't striding out. Hopefully, we don't have the same um, problem yet again. Then before I get to my outside section, I just want to mention here number 10, King, King's Ford. Now, this King's Ford is global view by Circle of Gold. And this horse is really well bred. Um, so do look out for this first time. And I see Kendall Mini is riding it. 
but I'm really this number 10 Kings Ford. I can think might have an outside uh, outside chance. Then one of my outsider selections is number 11. Sputnik 1 is a JPEG by Jetmaster Mir. Five star landing. Five star landing. Has thrown some, has thrown one or two nice swords. And this is then their old brother. Uh, he did uh, debut on the poly. But again, don't think it will have a problem on the um, turf. And that they were well six links on a permeable. And I've, after losing at the start, and I think can improve today over this uh, 1200 meters. And my other outsider selection is number 14, Step It Up Baby. It's 14, um, 14 to 1 in the betting. This horse is now back on the turf um, where he's never a place. He's all that all his runs here was on, um, except his last run behind What a Flight. And there he kicked the gate, but still ran on 24.2. And I think Step It Up Baby can be considered for your quartet and trifecta selections. Then we move on to race number three. Race number three is a maiden plate over 1600 meters. Here the betting is as follows. Number 11, Wings of Fire, 18 to 10, 19 to 10, Mot Cub, Mot Bar. Little Drummer Boy, 14 to 1, Homer Pitcher, 12 to 1. Carolina, 14 to 1, Shades of Blue, 16 to 1. Global Cass, 18 to 1. And number 10, 28 to 1, 50, 55, and longer the rest. So here am I, um, third, third race. My first selection again is the favorite. Um, I keep on getting the favorites, but I mean, I'm working on form. And number 11, Wings of Fire is an ideal world out of uh, Bezer and May coming from, um, has been running in Scottsville and, 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 and Grable. Will it manage to run two, a, a close fifth and a third? Um, and definitely 11 Wings of Fire from draw five today must be a huge runner in this field. Then for uh, outsider selection, we're going for number six, Homer Fidget. I'm a featured again. We, uh, my syndicate that I put together, we have a small share in this horse. Um, we are hoping that it will run well today. The, the 69 meters will definitely suit. But this horse is by Go Deputy by Kahal Mir, and we're thinking that this horse will actually go even further than the 69 meters. But sometimes this horse can be a bit difficult. But on his day, I think if he wants to run, he can surely be uh, there where the photos are taken. Getting the minus one and a half, which is an advantage. So definitely, I'm a featured, including all your play. Then uh, other outside elections, number seven, Global Cash. I've been watching Global Cash. It's a double view by Requiem Me. Um, I've been running there and thereabouts, getting a minus four today. And definitely, a horse that you want to include in your cortex and trifecta. As I'm, uh, I'm sure, Global uh, Cash will be improving. Yeah, there is other horses in this race with some some chance. I think that I've just noticed um, when I looked at the car today, I see, you know, you know that the jockeys have to stick for January in the, in the, in, in a, in a, for, into one center. And I, to my amazement, I saw that Marco von Hinsberg decided to stick in PE. But I checked out his rights today and it just really doesn't have some, I mean, really uh, good rights. So I was wondering if he, you know, if, why he made such a decision to stick in, in, um, in uh, preview and then the rides isn't like you know uh, winning rides but yeah um, i don't know what's going on there uh, also horse as you can watch is number eight carolina um i think this horse can also improve um yeah i must say the three of stable uh, over the last few meetings was a bit quiet never you know normally they can sometimes line up three four winners a meeting but maybe they just get one or two but yeah i think maybe the Training ranks are getting stronger. Here we have number one motor car coming from a race, but also has run some decent races. And um, if not needing the run, can also be involved in the finish. As well as number two, little drummer boy has been constantly placed. And surely um, this five-year-old, um, you know, must be lining up to go into the first race. I think to the number one box. So then let's move on to race number four, which is a um, for this, a mere 66 handicap. Let's have a look at the betting. The betting is as follows number 11, Shine a Light, 4 to 1, Christian Halo, 7 to 1, Elusive Giant, 7 to 1, Dancing Girl, 15 to 2, Alaskan Fight, 17 to 2. 
that we use even in the new 14 to 1 grand dollar, 14 to 1 cyber security, brides might blue 14 to 1 and longer the rest. So here in race five, I can race four. My first selection is number 10, brides made blue. You'll see here in the record, a brides made two twice over by summer is me. Course and distance one run, one win. And that was 332 days ago already. Um, but this horse is now running in a D66, but it has been running uh, in this class and not doing too badly, running places. And I do feel today Bridesmaid Blue um, will have a big shout in this race, but, but by, by all means, not a certainty. And outside of selections is number one, Grenadella. This horse was taken to Joburg, Achter Grebel, to compete in a future race. So surely these um, the connections that felt that this horse has got the cap capability. Now this horse is down in class having been run 82s and 90s before. So definitely Grenadella today, a horse that you need to include in all your play. And number two, cyber security, a loose afford by Kaomi, a nicely bred. And I'm sure cyber security um, has had some here and there is a decent race, but I'm thinking that um, this horse has got the ability and, you know, has run four inches behind Grenadella, came out after that and won. And I think cyber security today uh, 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 must have a chance. Last time out went over the 12, uh, over the 2,000 meters, leading by the Scott run out of it by, uh, by Cara. And I think the shorter distance will be more to this horse's advantage. The number six, Dancing Girl, um, also a horse that you need to put in all your play. This horse has just won its maiden, but I think this horse has got, uh, it looks like an, a progressive sort and might be, um, uh, you know, uh, improving. But the big thing that put me off was to draw 16. That's really a big problem. Yeah, we got seven Alaskan fight. Marco, Marco from Rensburg riding. Also, horse has got, that guy's got a chance. Um, has had uh, one win in a few places on the turf. So let's move on to race number five. Here we have a merit rate at 93. Class B average merit rate at 86. Let's have a look at the beating, nurse five. Fly my flag 13 to 10, Meraki 11 to 2, Date over 11 to 2, Duke of Cards 7 to 1, Philos 9 to 1, and books, Boxcar 9 to 1, 18 to 1, and better the rest. So, uh, yeah, and uh, Thomas Tucker is coming off um, some nice wins. I'm oh, sorry, I'm in the wrong race now. Fly my flag is the favorite. Nothing has not done nothing wrong. Um, I has been running in. Um, a stronger class last time out over a distance that I deemed too short for her. So number two, flying your flag is in with a chance. But my first selection here is number four, Philos, for an Alan Greaves stable. Now Philos um, hasn't won over this course and distance, but over this distance has had two wins in a few places. And I do feel Philos, um, on the, even if it's on the grass, um, has been running constantly well against some stronger opposition. And he's meeting here, and I do feel Philo's running down in class today. Definitely a huge runner. Then my outsider selections is number three, Meraki. Meraki is also a horse that has run against some decent opposition. Um, and um, definitely in with a shout in this race. Then number six, um, outsider selection number six, Duke of Cards. It's always a horse that's also there and thereabouts. Has also run against some strong opposition. Nippy Sweet Mamara, uh, our um, definitely can upset him, not upset, but can also be involved in this race in the finish. So let's move to race number six, where they have a medal rate 77 divided handicap over 1400 meters, class D average medal rate at 70. Betting on race six as follows. Here we have number one, Thomas Tucker, 33 to 10. Turn it up, Harvey, 92. Ravenview, 92. Exxon, 91. 
Moon gain 8 to 1, Maldives 9 to 1, 14 to 1, Bold Dreamer, 14 to 1, Companion, 18 to 1, and longer the rest. Now, here we have Thomas Tucker, which is not my first selection. I just want to quickly mention him. He has been running well on the poly. But uh, on the turf, it's still where I have to win on the turf. So uh, the fact that he's on a hat trick on the poly doesn't mean it necessarily going to uh, produce that runs on the turf. And therefore, my selection is number two, Bull Dreamer. Bull Dreamer, I think, is a very nice horse. Has uh, did one nicely last time out. Last time out, it looks like he was beaten, and he came back again against Magister Magic. And um, and also, Bull Dreamer has got no problem running on on the turf. And I feel today over this uh, 1,400 meters will suit Bull Dreamer down to the ground. Has run against some decent opposition. And uh, for me, actually, a little bit down in class today. Although last time he won a 64. But I was expecting that, carrying 61 and a half. Now today, he's running in a class a little bit higher than he's competed before. Um, uh, he has competed again in a higher division than that. And wasn't disgraced. And I think too, Bull Dreamer is going to run a huge race. But the only problem is draw 16, which can be a huge disadvantage. But the horse do run on from behind. Or they can take it to the front. I'm not sure what the tactics is going to be today. And for outside of the selection, number three, Bank Robert. Also, a horse that's down in class and has been running against some decent opposition here. We've got Rail Trip in, 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 um, in uh, KwaZulu Natal. And now having his fourth run here, did run a little bit better last time out behind Norfolk Pond against a, a stronger opposition. He's getting a minus two and a half, and I do feel bank robber can be affected today. My other outsider selection is number six. Sorry, is number five. Story of my life. Uh, Gavin Smith, a stable, also was. Uh, that has been running against some strong opposition. Here you can see 83, 72, 75, 85, 84. And it's always there and thereabouts. Hasn't won for 514 days, but getting the minus one and a half, this horse surely can be a surprise today in this field story of my life. So then let's move on to the next race, which is race number seven, which is a fully Amaze Handicap 78 Class C. Average mid rate in 72. And here my first selection is traveling style uh, 10 to 1. But let's look at the betting two super gum 72, 92, De La Kisia, Victor, Victory Tower 72, 10 to 1, traveling style, Ambra 11 to 1, Sloan 11 to 1, Escape to Vegas 11 to 1, 12 to 1, and longer the rest. Here my first selection is number one, traveling style. Traveling style has run against far a better company than she's going to meet in today. It's getting the minus one and a half, and I expect a huge run from number one traveling style. Um, has been running there and thereabouts, winning. Um, you know, has dropped uh, in her last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven runs, three wins from seven starts, and definitely an informed horse. Then my outsider selection is number three. Uh, which is uh, Amber. Amber also has run against some better position. Here you can see uh, 88 Captain Anne Bonnie, La Belle Mia, Twin Falls, all very, very good horses. And I think that group number three will be a big opposition to number one. And then my other outside is number four, um, Via Scara. I think Via Scara also also with lots of ability and has also run against some strong opposition down in class today again can be involved in the finish. Yes, the Lekisia has run, but um, has only won against a lesser opposition. But global view and can be involved in the finish do include Toda Tower, a dynasty by Europa Point, uh, uh, by Rock of Gibraltar, very well bred, but I'm sure a total disappointment for the breeders, um, uh, which the horse is so well bred but is battling to find her feet. Maybe the, today the turf can turn it around, but also, um, you know, uh, uh, I think there are better horses of chances in this field. 
Then we move to race number eight, which is a um, med rate at 68 handicap class E average med rate at 62. And here I'm going to, uh, here we have a look at the betting number of six, Chainsaw three to one, A hey Boy four to one, Love Poison seven to one, ten to one, Wigan Midnight eleven to one, Rock the Cox for Camera, Time Stand Still, Tora de Alora fourteen, fourteen, Soul Train, and the Carpet and fourteen, and number eight and sixteen to one, and Longer the Race. And here on this race, I'm going for an old soldier, and that's number 12. The carpenter. This was really um, runs his heart out every time. Uh, in this, he's running in his in his class, um, and he, this was always runs on well. It's always there, twenty three point seconds, twenty three point two. You know, this was constantly runs under twenty three seconds. The last time this was ran over uh, under twenty four was in September. But you look at 23.3, 23.2, 22.9, 22.6. It always runs on well. And I think the carpenter today on the turf track is definitely going to uh, run on from behind. And I'm looking, for, um, I'm looking for the carpenter to run a huge race today. Outside the selections is number seven, which is um, Love Potion. I'm looking for this horse very well bred to start improving and to be and can be involved in the finish did win on this course and distance a few runs back and i'm looking for this horse of marco van Rensburg producing the goods as i said he's, he's riding for the month in pe and i think of all the rides on of the day this might be the one that the best he's got the best chance with then number 10 is um other outsider selection which is wagon midnight this horse is also one course and distance three runs one win and and i feel him back on the turf today will appreciate it. And I do believe I've been following this horse and it's always there and there about. And I think today we're on a forward race, but really the last race also a very open race. Anything can happen. Now we've come to the end of our preview. I hope I could point you in the right direction. And as I always say, break a leg.